Hello everyone, today we are looking at my coral snake in Unreal Engine. Here we're looking at the uh, map, the animation map with all the different um, coral snakes individually um, set out in their individual animations. So you can look at them all separately. If I hit play on this map, you can see all the different animations. You can walk up to them and inspect them. Um, everything you could imagine for a snake, walking, jumping, coiled up or coiled up, uncoiling, uh, walking, running. If we get out of this, we can look at the folders that you get with this pack the animation folder we'll look at in a minute and then we have blueprints uh, which we'll look at in a minute also we have the maps two different maps this is one the animation map and then we have an AI map we'll, which we'll jump into in a minute one material for the coral snake PBR material the mesh we can look at the physics asset. And if we hit play and get rid of those, then we can pick up the coral snake. Look at his physics. And of course it has a skeleton and textures, PBR textures even has a metalness so we have base color normal roughness and metalness all at 2k now let's jump into the animations the first thing we have is a blend shape that we're using with the ai system that i'm including we'll look at the ai system last so that's a look at the blend shape. And then we have coil to idle. A transitional animation. And then we have coiled. And we have constricted. If, the, if you want to constrict it around something. Two different constricted animations. A dead animation. Then we have a dying animation. Now we have here we have idle to coiled. Here we have idle to walk, another transitional. Here we have the idle animation, idle two, idle three. And then we have a jumping animation, a landing animation. Here's our run animation. Striking, strike one, strike two, turn left, turn right. And then we have our walking animation. Now we can jump into the AI system that I'm including with most of my animals right now. Um, like this. So here we're in the AI map. And if I hit play on this map. All of the coral snake have a little brain and they'll move around and do things. And it basically has two states, a resting state where it's all coiled up and then a state where it's roaming. And you can interact with um, the coral snakes. Here, I just woken that one up, so he's going to get out of a... Uh... Oh, no, I didn't wake that one up. <laughs> Here. Oop, that one saw me. Now he's running away. 
trying to find one that's coiled. Here, that one saw me. Now he tried to snap at me. So we can see you, the coral snakes have sight as an AI perception. And you can also kill them. So if you bump into them, they will die. If I can bump into them, <laughs> there we go. So they'll die and they'll interact with each other. See, those two just saw that one and now they're running away. So it, it's a basic little um, AI system for you to be able to drag and drop the coral snake into your project if you don't want to code uh, uh, a whole AI system for it. So let's get out of this and look at the blueprints for this. We can look at the animation blueprint first. Oops, our window is all messy here. So this is the animation blue blueprint. And in this, um, it contains all the different animations for the coral snake. <coughs> Excuse me. And it contains all the animations for the coral snake and all the transitions for the coral snake. So if you look at each one of these, it tells you what conditions uh, is meant to do this transition. And then if you click on each one of these, that's where your animation lies. So you could use this NM blueprint to create your own AI system if you wanted to. You wouldn't have to create this all yourself. So that's the animation blueprint. And now we'll look at the normal blueprint. And here we have... Um, the snake will make a bunch of decisions with some basic logic. It will drain its energy. It will regain its energy. It will roam around. It will run away when it uh, detects something. Uh, it will revive itself and regain health. It'll also um, handle what happens when it's resting, what happens when uh, you take damage, uh, detect is for the sight, so if he sees something, he'll react a certain way, and there's a hit check. If we look on the left side, at the very top, if you click on the Coral Snake Blueprint, on the right side, we have all the different um, options that you could change, like Run Radius Max run radius minimum, walk radius, or you could change things like how long it stays dead or how long it rests when it's um, sleeping, things like that. At the very bottom of this set, we have the AI perception. And as I said before, it has sight as an AI perception and you can change how far they can see things and then how far they lose sight of things, and also your peripheral vision. So that's a look at my coral snake in Unreal Engine. Uh, hopefully this helps a lot. Um, I really wanted to do a, an easy AI system so that users could drag and drop the snakes into their project without having to do much uh, to get going. But that's a look at my coral snake in Unreal Engine. Uh, have a good one, everyone.